We are living in very exciting times as science and the medical field explore the impact that emotions have on cells and cellular healing. And it's no wonder that the Center for Disease Control has on their website that 85% of all illness has an emotional basis. And the reason they can say such a thing is because of all the work going on in the field of cellular healing. And what science has found is that when we feel a strong emotion and we repress it, it releases a quantifiable biochemistry into our bloodstream, which will go to certain cell receptors and block them, rendering those specific cells incapable of communicating with the rest of the cells in the body. And if over time, illness happens, it happens where the cells are blocked. And conversely, what is also known is that when we feel our emotions very openly and freely, very naturally like a child does, our cell receptors remain open. And I experienced the direct impact of the effect that emotions have on our cells when many years ago, over 25 years ago, I was diagnosed with a tumor that was the size of a basketball. And part of my own direct healing experience was that I went on a journey inside that tumor and I actually got access to the cell memory stored there and went through quite a radical process of release and letting go of that old programming so that when new cells were born, they were born devoid of that old consciousness as new regenerative cells and I healed without drugs or surgery in six and one half weeks time. And so beautifully, a method has been born originally 25 years ago from my own direct experience from healing from a tumor, which has been successful in helping people all around the world get to the emotional corollary of what is co-creating their illnesses. And so I've been delighted that I get to work with medical doctors to support them in their work by helping their patients get access to the cell memories and the emotional root cause of what is co-creating serious illness. And so I invite you to go through a deeper exploration, even if you're not ill, all of us have emotions that it could be something very simple, like you're in a spelling bee and you misspell a word and everybody laughs and no one gave you a manual how to deal with that. What do you do? You shut down. In the moment of that shutdown, that biochemistry is released, goes to your cell receptors, and remains stored inside your cells. And that pattern, that emotional theme, gets passed on from one cell generation to the next cell generation. So when I went to the surgeon with my tumor, she said, actually, this probably started the tumor probably started with one cell when I was eight years old, but the pattern got passed on from one cell generation to the next cell generation. And what the journey helps you do is to interrupt that pattern and get access to the cells that, and the cell memory that is stored there to clear it out at a cellular level so that the new cells are born without that old programming. Now, I have a, a program called Journey Outreach, and when 9-11 happened and the Twin Towers went down, I immediately had therapists coming in from around the world to go to New York City to work with those families who had lost loved ones in the Twin Towers. Because I knew what science had said is true, that when you have a big trauma like that and you're at the peak of a traumatic experience and you shut down, that's when this biochemistry is released. I only got to work with 250 people there, but I wanted them to clear this out before it showed up down the line, manifesting as disease. And I read in the New York Times that the US government had kept tabs on those people who were the families who had lost loved ones in the Twin Towers. And 10 years later, September 11th, 2011, they published the results and the fa family members had off the Richter scale cancer. 
Why? No one gave them a manual. How do you deal with that kind of trauma? So really, it is my prayer that we don't wait till we get a wake-up call as extreme as these people have gotten. That you give yourself your wake-up call now so that you can get to the root cause of what is stored inside your body, clear it out so it doesn't manifest down the line like it did for me, like it did for those people in New York City. So this really is an invitation to you to give yourself a wake-up call now. I'm giving something called the Journey Intensive and I invite you to join me in a three-day immersion where you roll up your sleeves, that you dive in and you uncover these old repressed cell memories, emotional patterns, these lids that we have inside of ourselves, these shutdowns, these blocks, the depression that we have, the, the anxiety, the stress. And at the deepest level of being, you clear it out at that level so that it doesn't show up as something down the line. And I promise you, you leave that seminar feeling washed clean with the lasting results of feeling not only whole and complete in yourself, but at home in your own skin and at peace with your life. So I pray and hope to see you there and that you use this video as your wake-up call to come home.